you're with Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, AC3, the greatest luxury goods entertainer to hit YouTube. And today we're asking a very, very simple question. Would a Patek Philippe World Time, would a Patek Philippe World Time make me cool, fuckers? Would it make me cool? Because uh, we want to talk about brand placements. Would it make me more cool? That's a very, very interesting question. So uh, the wristwatch in question, that's the Patek World Time White Gold. Would that make me more cool? Because you buy these things to be cool, don't you? We buy things that we can't afford to impress people we don't like. We buy things we can't afford to impress. We buy things we can't afford to impress people we don't like. So the question is, would a paddock world time make me more cool? That is the question. That is the question, fuckers. That is the question. So I'd like to ask, I'd like to shoot that question out there. Would it make me more cool? Because we all want to be a cool cucumber, a cool fucker. You're not going to spend the sort of money that a um, a world time costs. That watch secondhand is going to cost me thirty two thousand Australian dollars, twenty four thousand US fuckeroonies. Would it make me cool? Um, that's the question. That's the question. That is the question, my dear friends. And I got a gold sub. I got a gold sub. I got a, um, what else have I got there? I got a gold sub. I've got a um, uh, Explorer 2 and a Speedy. Those three, the combo deal, three-piece combo deal, I could turn into one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether I could do it or not. What do you fuckers think? Would you do it? Could you do it? Would you want to do it? You tell me that, fuckers. That is the question. That is the question, fucker Roonies. That is the question. So, um, hmm. I'm I'm just uh I'm just just waiting on an answer here. What the fuck's happened to my good friend the sucker horn? Fuck me, dead. Where's he gone? Where is the sucker horn when you need him? Let's see if he'll answer. Hey, sorry. I think I just sent it to you, but I, I numbered it number three. Oh, I got you. I got you on the screen now. That's fine. Thank you, John. Okay. So discuss this. We've got. The fucker horn. Hello, fucker horn. How are you? And how else we got in the background there? Who's that in the background? Trev. Trev. So anyhow, Trev. Trev's Trev's a your electrician. Electrician by trade. Hey, this is somebody who could afford a world time. I'm a um, electrical contractor. Electrical contractor. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking about. Wants to wants to. I'm thinking about upgrading the gold sub to a world time. What do you think, Trev? Would it make me cooler? Uh, Would it make me cooler? The, the watch yin and, doesn't make the man. The yin the and the yang. It's the yin and the yeah, yang there, right. Trev. Look it's the, the yin. The yin and the yang. See, it's got all the places around the world. You press the side button and it changes the time zone. So would that make me more cooler? That's the question. Would it make me cooler? Uh, if you feel more confident in yourself wearing that one, it will help you. It will make you cooler. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it will. I don't think it does anything. See, you're right, Trev. It doesn't. The watch doesn't really... You can't, you can't, owning possessions doesn't really change your psyche, does it? This is the whole thing, guys. The possessions Fucking don't really do, they don't do anything, do they? 
It's their possession. They make you feel good. You know, they it's can a make you. It's, it's a matter of achievement. You know, I've got this. You, you put it online. It's stratification. You know, and we, we, what we're doing is just, you know, classifying. You know, a piece. You know, a work of art, possibly. You know, there's no question. You know, saying that the, you know, Pat Philippe in the world time isn't a work. You know, a work of art. It is. Classic piece. You know, watches are one of those things that can be retained as works of art. You've got one. You know, like I've never seen one. I've seen plenty of pictures. I don't think I've seen one in real. You know, in in in, in the real world. You know, you're showing us one on your channel. You know, great. That's stuff, exactly huh? it. That's exactly it. It's um. That's exactly it. That's the way I see it there, John. It's, 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 um, it is a cool thing, but they don't really make you cool. Your possessions don't make you cool. Like you can be an asshole and you're still an asshole with an expensive watch, aren't you? It doesn't make you well, cool or sophisticated, the owning of these things. No, but, you know, by the same token, you do own them. I suppose you're putting a mark in the sand. I suppose that's a little bit better than, than borrowing them from someone. <laughs> you know, if you borrow no. something, I'd like to show you this. This is a friend of mine's. Well, who gives a fuck, you know, what your fucking friends own? You know, like, they're not yours. You know, pull your fucking head in. Oh, this uh, friend lent this to me. You know, well, if you're any decent sort of friend, he'd fucking give it to you. You know, God, fuck, that friend lent it to me. Oh Christ! It makes you sick. Then that that out of the huh? Now, have we got our our friend? Where's our friend from the uh, the Thai guy? The Thai, you know, the guy. Oh. Is he is he there? Are you in the background? You're still chirping in. No, he's gone to the shit house. He's gone he's to the shit house. Jono and Trev, there. It's um. When are you boys? I got to ask you guys some questions. When are you boys getting some really good watches for yourself, John? When are you getting a really good watch for yourself? I, I'm not collecting watches anymore. Any, my, any money I put into a Rology, I'm putting into um, antique French French Ormolu clocks. What about you, Trev? Why don't you get a good watch? You got a Mercedes. You got a good, good, sexy wife. You got an he air. He drinks. He drinks. What? I got ten fucking watches, mate. I got a. He drinks. I got a nice. He spends gold. ten grand a year on his channel drinking. He could buy watches if he stopped drinking. Didn't put up a channel. Yeah, you know, like it costs Trev. You know what? Thirty dollars a day to run his channel. You know, he's, he's buying, you know, what half a dozen can, you know, or four cans or something. You know, and that's all tax deductible. Channel, yeah. That's all tax deductible. He doesn't yeah. pay tax, you dill. <laughs> <laughs> what does he want to pay tax for? No. You know, he doesn't monetize the channel. Yeah. No, no, I, I understand. Now I got to no, ask you guys. To his wife, to his wife I'm, I'm just doing a video on the channel. I can have now, another beer, can I? Yeah. I gotta ask you, is you got any tips? I um, yeah, when's, when's Archie Luxury the racehorse running next? That's what I want to know. Yeah, that's a great horse, isn't Where's it? But it? well, it's out for a spell, is it or what? Yeah. Uh, so know. look, John, I'm I'm thinking about going overseas very soon. Where are you off to? A, I was thinking about going to Hong Kong, Jono. What's in Hong Kong? I want to go to Hong Kong. Trip. Yeah, what's Hong Kong, Hong Kong's cool, John. Um, now I wanted to ask you guys there. I want to go. I want. I got to travel. I love traveling for a couple of days, five days. I love the travel, John. Do you? Do you? You're addicted to travel. Trev's addicted to travel. You're addicted to travel, aren't you, Trev? Tell me this, Trev. You're addicted to travel, aren't you? Married to a fucking you married to an hostie. What do you reckon? Do you Where reckon are you off to next, Trev? Um. What you moving to? Well, I'm moving this week, mate. <laughs> oh shit! I'm did you take? Uh, did you did you take Jono's advice and not leave it to the last minute? Oh, I just did a load yesterday. Um, no, the day before. Just did what? Did a load yesterday. <laughs> a little load all over place. No, no, we we did one uh, truck. We did a couple of runs. Um, we're going to do another couple of runs on Friday when we move. So that's all, all happening. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Black Fortress, mate. It's looking good. We've got Mr. Kolb in residence. Mr. Peter yes. Kolb. He's it really is, cool. Of, He's yeah. really cool. He really is. Now, he had a Trevor, I've done some car videos the other day. You can tell Jono about that. I got a very vintage 1974 Alfa Romeo barnyard find I had, Trev. How much, Trev? 
Oh, my brother had one. How much? It did about 230 k's an hour. It wasn't bad. GDV. Yeah, 230 k's an hour. GDV. Yeah, this is this is before the GDV. This was a 105, 1974 little. Oh, one. You know, they they most of them are rusted out. So we've got one yes. of those. And um, yep. I got I got to tell you, Trev, I got to tell you, um, I got to tell you. I also did a thing on a car that's been rusted. It spent two years in England, and the tin worm has set in. That's a nasty bitch. That tin worm. BMW. Fuck. What is it? Just uh, it, it was. It was an it was an E thirty six convertible. Oh, okay. Fucking tin <laughs> worms yeah, coming. Yeah. Who cares what it was? The man of rust in that mic. You'd be afraid to sit in the jump into the passenger seat, wouldn't you? You'd be you afraid. Reckon, you reckon it's that bad? Oh, that bad? My oh, God. I've had worse. I had a HRU where we used to throw the empty cans through the floor hole. You'd rather be buried in a, in a cardboard coffin, wouldn't you? And they'd bounce. There you go, wouldn't you? As they come out the back, you know, they'd bounce under the underneath and bang, bang, and then they'd fly up in the air. Far out. Now, guys. It's been great chatting to you. I better let you go. You carry on there. I just wanted to say hello. We've done a really good show. Thank you, boys. You hang in there and uh, don't let the mud wasps bite, okay? But mud, what are, what are mud wasps? What are they? That's just mud wasps. They build mud nests, little wasps that build nests, okay? We're going to do so another thank one. You. We're going to do another one. Sorry? Oh, we'll do another, another one later second. on, John. You, you got all your guests over. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb you. You got fun. Well, they enjoyed it. They laughed. They read off here. What are you talking about? Yeah. You know, in, we have this one next. In, in between links, Trevor's doing videos. Wow, right. that's great. Another, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna let you go, guys. Thank you so much for having me on, and uh, I'll chat to you later. Thank you, guys. Hang all in right. there. Okay.